Hello and welcome to Alma, Missouri. This is episode 46, I do believe. In this episode, uh, it's mainly going to be about our monthly deliveries. We haven't seen that for a while. And, yeah, we are making quite a bit of income every month. Most of it has still been invested. I think just to start off with, I'm just going to whip around show you a couple of things we've bought. He did buy a new Fent tractor. So we've been up upgrading our machinery uh, in the last month or so. Got a new uh, lime spreader. Let's get in the little uh, John Deere and we'll trot around the farm and go and have a look at a couple of things. Most of these things I probably would have shown you already but it's just by way of recap. We built this new shed here to how some of our extra trailers and a few of the bits and pieces of machinery. Um, this is our cedar which is going to be replaced with a bigger one which we leased to do a lot of planting. So we've planted pretty much in this top half in or in this farm half of the of the of the farm or the farmhouse part yard part of the farm we've planted all those fields in canola to get um, to increase our oil production I did make a bit, a bit of a mistake uh, the field one the really big field I did want to plant in wheat or barley but as per usual a mistake and I <laughs> forgot to change from um, from what were we on? We were from from canola to um, to wheat. In any case, it was done. It's not a problem. We will still be able to uh, use it. It did result in another little purchase, which I'll show you in a little while. The other strange thing is um, all our ducks disappeared. So we did. I did one of the game updates, and the ducks just disappeared. As you can see in the animal dealer, we don't have ducks any longer. So <laughs> I've had to um, restock this one, our duck field with some chickens. So we started with that, I think 120 odd chickens to start with there from the beginning. And that's why their production is a little bit down. Right, the animals are reasonably well fed. I'll just move these out of the way quickly. I did um, sell most of the rams just to freshen up our stock in the in the um, sheep shed. <laughs> Couldn't remember what it what I was going to call it the sheep pen, the sheep field, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> so yeah, so we have uh, sold off the rams, made a reasonable amount of money there. And then the next new thing, which I just, I'm not sure whether I showed you again, is we've put in a new silo to house um, or to store our straw and it's probably grass or hay. We'll be start making hay again um, in uh, loose form because um, the idea is that eventually we will have a TMR factory, which I think will be easier to supply in loose form. So there's going to be a slight change in the way we harvest our grass. But there it is. There we've got uh, 340 odd thousand k. 340 odd thousand <laughs> um, liters of straw which all came from the field that I'm going to go and show you now and this is a new field that we bought it did have um, wheat in it and of course because I didn't plant a wheat field I took the extra wheat crop off there but a hundred and 
35,000 liters in this field. I'll just give you a quick run around as I've um, been spraying off the other fields. So we've sprayed off all the all the fields that we planted on across the road. On the we're going to have to call this the the non-farm house side, <laughs> or the cross the road from the farmhouse side <laughs> of the farm. So yeah. I'll just put this in a bit of a time lapse and just whip you around this so you can show a nice little pond there. Don't want to get too much fertile, at least the herbicide in there. It's a slightly strange field. It does go right up to the top there. I did come back and uh, spray that off and the sprayer does fit in there. You just have to be a bit careful. I, was, I didn't think it would be. Right, so here we go in the start of connecting all our our monthly product, uh, produce or product, or products that we have produced, and I've started off with the the citrus fruit um, greenhouses. I think we've got pineapples and oranges at the moment. Well, I wouldn't call pineapple a citrus fruit, but a um, don't want to call it an exotic fruit. But yeah, you get what I mean. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so we're getting we're getting a good a good supply of those every month, enough to keep our juice plant going. So of course, um, some of the productions that we do go into other productions. <laughs> so uh, I suppose the greenhouse you could cause call uh, um, part of the farming operation supplying the productions so yeah we don't get direct money from from the, those greenhouses at this point which is um, the object that we had I think as we start collecting our first saleable product um, it'd be good to take a note of our balance just to see how much we make out of this whole lot so we're starting at 67,000 373 and we'll see where we end up at the end of this episode have a little guess I think there's a little bit of a um, indication in the introduction as to um, where one should go with the, your, with one's guess, as they say. <laughs> Any case, so we've got um, we've got pineapple juice, we've got some uh, lemonade, and we've got some apple juice, and we're going to supply this directly to our farm shop. Nice and easy, quick, quick delivery. It is. It is mostly. Most of the time, it is. Uh, it is the best price, or very close to the best price. But number one, it's a quick delivery. And number two, we are starting to sub, uh, start our own. Well, not start. We have been doing it for quite a while. Uh, retail selling directly to the public. We have the retail outlets on the farm itself we've got this um, the small shop and we've got the mayonnaise stand here and then we've also got the the farm shop down in the apple area and uh, we'll get to see that later on in the episode as well as we collect the product that has been made there and get it sold there we go that's done nicely first bit of income not huge but enough to get going so there we go so we 67 we up to 87 now so about 20 20 grand there right so let's connect I think tomatoes we want to get into town today 
and um, get the ketchup operation going. We have uh, we have been supplying the ketchup um, factory with um, with tomatoes. It has run out, so we need to resupply it um, and. We get into a stage where we need to restock the pizza operation. It's been so long since we had a look at those, and that was, of course, where we all started with this whole um, dynasty of ours has started. And I think we'll pop some, we're getting some good prices down at the bakery for pumpkins. I think we've got some pumpkins here, and I think we've got some pumpkins in the top greenhouse complex as well so we'll go and pick those up and then we'll head into town and we'll go and um, shuffle some some productions around town make some money in town make some sales we should have a bit of uh, mayonnaise to collect as well in town and I think we need to resupply the pizzeria probably got some pizzas to sell so yeah I'm thinking that we should make quite a bit of money from our from our town productions particularly because I think there's a fair amount of mayonnaise to be collected mayonnaise is probably our biggest money spinner That's us full there. We'll uh, put the rest of the toma uh, tomatoes. <laughs> we'll put the rest of the um, of the pumpkins into into our farm shop, of course. Yeah. On farm farm shop. Right. I'm just going to park off the little John Deere. We're going to deliver some milk to the to the dairy as well. That has been quite well stocked so we just need to top that up again so we'll put a tanker load in there and then we'll uh, the nice thing about this Mack truck is that it's extremely powerful extremely fast it's very quick to get into town with it and of course we can hitch up our our trailer to it if we can align ourselves properly There we go. Bit of a bump and a scrape and off we go. Let's go and uh, pop down to the to the milking parlour and pick up uh, I think it's going to take 22,000 litres of milk. We will have some still to sell roughly about the same amount um, into our farm shop but we do need to resupply the, the dairy. We actually haven't supplied for quite a while because we had a full, a full stock of, of a full stock, a full store of milk there for a couple of months, which helps because we do get good prices for milk as well. It's another fairly good money sp money spinner, money spinner. Money spinner. <laughs> I'll get it right. <laughs> a fairly good money spinner. <laughs> uh, good, good manure production. We might have to increase that as well. Um, as our cows increase, we will be producing more. Well, we have the potential to produce more manure, and uh, we'll put start putting that onto our fields as well. As we go past our new silo. And we'll head on to town and see you there. Here we are. We're going to go and deliver the pumpkins to the bakery. Oh, I think I've, I've turned down one road too soon, but that's not a major problem. We can just duck around the front. So there's our oil mill on the right hand side, who's going to be pretty busy next season got a huge stock of uh, canola coming in 
it's probably big enough so that we keep it going for a couple of months supplying the mayonnaise factory might even be able to sell oil on eventually from there from that stock we as I said we're going to overproduce because I've planted one field too much let's put it that way but any of it it did uh, the mistake did force me to um, change direction slightly I wasn't going to buy any more field and now I think I might buy the field that we've just bought across the road from us plus the other two just to uh, on either side but we'll see as we go along we've also got to start now repaying our bank loans we've got some huge bank loans of course we've been paying off every month but I think uh, now that we're starting to get some decent income coming in well, we've got a couple of upgrades still to do a couple of bits, of bits and pieces of machinery to do And I think, yeah, come to think of it, I think there's a couple of little pieces of, of equipment too. We need to buy a bigger cedar uh, to keep going. And then we might start repaying our bank loans. And once the bank loans have been paid off, I think that's where we will end the series. So it's probably another, another, oh, four or five months I would think um, of play so it's probably about another five episodes since I'm doing monthly recaps really rather than going through everything um, we'll show you the highlights of the month and uh, the big the big changes we have been going for quite a while on this series I have enjoyed it it's still one of my favorite maps to play um, and it's been quite nice um, playing a lot of it because it is quite time consuming just for fun and, and not for recording I don't want that to sound too bad but um, yeah I wonder why that happens every now and again especially with this Mac truck it's, like, it's almost like it hits a, hit, a hit, hidden object in any case that's beside the point yeah so I have been enjoying playing it um, and then selectively deciding what I'm going to be showing in the monthly recap. It's normally going to be something that we haven't seen for a while um, or something new, um, which is the next episode, uh, something new coming onto the farm, which uh, is quite exciting. And it'll be in episode 47. Oops. Yeah. Slowed down a little bit quicker than I thought he was. Nearly went into the back of him. In any case, we'll get the tomatoes delivered here. Whoops. We used to be able to cut the corner there. Probably also from the update. Right. Not too much of a problem, really. Shouldn't be cutting the corner in any event. So we'll get this delivered. We'll fill up the water as well get the production started and back into delivery mode for now so it'll deliver to the pizzeria automatically and then um, any overproduction we will uh, we will sell right so let's get up to the dairy and go and pick up I think that's what we'll do. We'll go to the dairy, we'll pick up all the the cheese and the butter. And we'll I did get a call from the popcorn factory, they're looking for some butter, so we'll deliver the first load of butter there. And we'll deliver the cheese to the pizzeria. That needs to be restocked as well. Well there's still plenty there, but um, I'd like to keep it not full but almost full and then the rest of it uh, we'll sell to the diner and we'll also pick up the pizza and sell that into the diner as well 
getting some good prices at the diner at the moment so let's get these loaded up and then after that we will collect the mayonnaise which is going to be sold on the farm and that will we'll take that back to the farm is there any more to come out have a look and see butter yeah popcorn factory there we go so as i said just got good some some good good money from them could take it to our farmers market could take it to our uh to our farm farm shop as well but they we've been supplying them a lot lately yeah so they're a little bit overstocked so yeah, we'll get the butter into the diner and the popcorn factory. I haven't seen a train for a while. They haven't been coming to town all that often, so I suppose that's to be expected, but um, yeah, and of course, uh, having said that, I'll probably get taken up by a train. <laughs> Popcorn Factory, I think it's just up the road, just after the flag, the American flag. Uh, if I remember, remember correctly, it was a little bit tricky to find the find the um, offload point or the trigger point. I think it was a little bit to the other. Oh, there we go. It's not going to take anywhere near all of the butter. There we go. Reasonable bit, bit, bit of money. 12 grand from there. So we're climbing. We're over 100,000 now. We've still got a fair stock of butter on here and cheese. We're going to deliver the cheese first. And then on the way back we'll pick up the pizzas and we'll deliver everything in everything that's on the truck into the into the diner after that to the truck onto the trailer should I say oh we still got the milk in the trailer we'll have to go and take that back to the dairy we should have delivered that when we were there not a problem I'll just have to take a little detour around there before we go and collect the mayonnaise Yep, still no train. Safe. Quite a bump going over there. Yeah, I'm quite, quite excited to see where we end up with money-wise. Our big, our big money spinner is going to be the mayonnaise. That's going to be the make or the break of the, of whether we get a fortune this month <laughs> I suppose we I mean we should be bringing in a lot of money because uh, we've been uh, spending a lot of money on the farm we've been doing a lot of work on it it's a, it's a big farm now well in my opinion it's a big farm it does take a fair amount of work I just got to find this trigger point They are fairly small. Um, right, so that's all the cheese delivered now. It's probably not full on cheese, but we've got to be close to full on cheese. So, well, the pe the pizzeria should be full of cheese. <laughs> the stock should be f should be full. <laughs> oh dear, can't think of what to say. In any case, let's pick up these. It's probably going to be quite a few to be picked up. But we've got, um, we still got pineapples being, pizzas being produced. Oh, 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 dear, dear, dear. Just destroying our stock there. 
I should I should have just gone offloaded and come and done this properly because it's just it hasn't even fully loaded everything in any event we don't have far to go as I said everything is going into the diner not having a really good time around this back part here just about drove into the air conditioning units there in any event let's go and get, let's see oh, yeah we're making some decent money yeah that's 50 grand plus of course our environmental score which is pretty good it's not 100 percent but it's bringing in some good money there's an extra four thousand there for bonus another five or so to pick up here let's get these loaded up trailer needs a bit of clean we have to do that when we after we've made our deliveries not a very good site for our our deliveries anymore no, I think that's it we'll go and pop those into the into the diner and they should have enough pizzas for the next month it's a diner so I guess they guess they freeze them and then put them through and cook them as they required right that's it yeah 36 grand plus a nice little nice little turn from the uh, environmental school so we got over 200,000 so we're looking good yes definitely the pavements are becoming a seem to have been raised a little bit in the last the last update I'm just going to deliver the milk then we'll head on over to the mayonnaise factory and go and collect the mayonnaise right it's fairly slow to offload of course the dairy is also one of our original production units it has been working non-stop I think what I'll do in the next episode just thinking about it is uh, is we'll go through all the all the stats hours played all that type of stuff um, just to give you an idea I think we are heading for 150 hours on this farm now so that's pretty good probably the well it is the longest series that I've done uh, on the channel eco farm will probably run for a little while as well and then uh, there is a new I have a new series starting most probably in the next week or two but um, I'm still in the process of working through it it's a little bit different it's not a let's play but um, hang on for an, an announcement on that in the next week or two as I work through the way I want to do it oh nice nice fair amount of that's what I like good stock of mayonnaise I'm not sure, I stand under correction, but I'm not sure that this is only one month's production here. I think this might be two months production. No, it's not, because I no, I sold I sold mayonnaise last month, so this is a month's production. Right, so here we are back at the farm. And this will go into our 
mayonnaise area I've just highlighted there because the um, the trigger points are fairly close together but they they wouldn't have sold in any event so in any case that's where we delivered it there we go 250 or thousand plus 23,000 environmental 266,000 should I say so that's the money spinner so there we go 490,000 at this point in time we've still got some milk that we can deliver let's get that loaded up and we'll get that into the farm shop and then we'll go in the we've still got quite a bit we've still got all the all the potato products to deliver so there's still quite a bit to come in and we already over 400,000 for this for this month get this delivered and then we'll go and we can look at um, well, I'm not sure what we'll deliver next probably look at the potato products I think we've still got we still need to get down to the to the apple orchard we've got some apples uh, some apple juice over there to go into the farm shop there so we'll go and sort that as well that should bring a bit of money in right here we go are we going to hit half a million well the bank account hit half a million but we haven't made half a million yet I think I can confidently predict now that we will get we'll break the half a million barrier for this month income that is as I said in the beginning not to be scoffed at yeah so we're still slightly under but there's a good 28,000 from the from the um, excess milk it was uh, yeah not quite a full load but we're getting two almost two tankers out so 44 thousand liters from our cows in a month 44,000 liters should I say 44 did I say 44,000 well yeah so we're getting uh, close to 40 we're getting over 40,000 liters of milk produced every month which is good get that looking a little bit cleaner get that trailer sprayed off and we'll head off out and go and uh, I think we've got eggs to deliver we didn't need in the mayonnaise factory we probably need to deliver eggs to the mayonnaise factory next month but uh, yeah the, the eggs I think we'll take down to the other farmers market but in any case let's do what we need to do first of all so we'll get our french fries and potato chips or potato crisps whatever you want to call them load it up and they do produce nicely so there we've got a full load and we've still got more to come and pick up so we've got uh, 2200 french fries liters of french fries 2000 liters of potato crisps those will go into our farm shop it's one of those products that we're going to be selling from our farm with the juices farm produced products selling on the farm bring the people into the farm this should bring in a fair amount Right, 
Let's see what it's gonna do. Forty-four thousand. Pretty good. Still got some more as well. Not sure exactly how much is left in there, but uh, we'll see. I doubt whether it'll be another full road. But hopefully quite close to one. We'll see. Yeah, so we are, are now over the half a million for this month's income. Pretty pleased with that. I wonder if we'll ever, should we make that another goal? Let me know in the comments, should we make it a goal to be able to get a monthly income of, uh, of a million? It might happen when we sell the clothing, because we've got quite a store of uh, clothing that we haven't been selling. And that's only going to go out in April, so quite a while are we going to get a full load getting close, not quite close, not quite just making sure, yep, so we've got another 1600 crisps and a thousand french fries so um, two thirds of a load just over two thirds of a load so yeah, pretty good and I'm pretty sure that's working at max production um, because we've got we had over a million well we had a million liters of potatoes stored in there I haven't checked to see how much we've got there we've got um, oil being supplied to the mayonnaise factory um, and to the potato factory um, automatically from the from the oil factory, from our oil, um, our oil mill, if you want to call it that, which is in town, of course. There we go, another forty thousand. We we are starting to make some. Well, not starting to make. We are making some fantastic money. And that's why I, so I thought it would be good to spend a bit of time showing you this. Um, this harvest, if you want to call it that, this harvest of money. <laughs> oh dear. I'm just going to um, get on to um, hook up a, tra a tractor to the trailer now because we're going to go down to the to the apple orchard and uh, just hook up something that can get down there a little bit quicker. I think we'll go in the one of the original John Deere's. The old John Deere travels not much faster than the little John Deere runaround that I was using. I'd like to have driven one of the big tractors down there, but that's overkill for pulling the trailer, even with a full load. So the eggs are going to go to go into the farm shop and at the same time we'll collect the um, the fruit juice, the apple juice that's been produced and uh, get that into the farm shop as well there might be some excess honey because um, we're not producing the honey apple at the moment until we get the sugar up and running in any case, let's load up the eggs. Oh, nice, we're getting we're getting nice supply of eggs every month. Of course, this um, is our new chickens. Well, the new the new chickens, so they still not full production yet. Oops, we don't want to load up any of those. Let's just reverse out and make sure we don't pick up anything else beside the eggs. And then we'll nip one down to the apple orchard and get that sorted out it's a nice little drive through the fields 
Yeah, so everything over here, as I mentioned, is now besides the grass field and of course the sugar beet fields which are still to be harvested they should be just about ready I wonder if they'll be ready this month I think they are well I think at least one of the fields will be ready this month this top field I think let's check it out quickly yep that's ready to be harvested the bottom field I think is probably next month because we did pl plant them we didn't plant them in the same month so yeah, the grass is already ready to be harvested and I needed did that a little while ago but we'll let it grow out a little bit more and then this is all um, this is all canola and uh, sprayed off just ready to grow I think we're about well almost at uh, at maximum yield on that Across the bridge and to the left is our apple orchard. It's a lovely little space, this. There's probably some apples to be to go into the... I have um, most of the apples um, going straight into the production unit, but I do have some apples which we collect and put into the farmer's market just so that we have some decent stock in there. Let's see how much we make out of this. Yep, that's decent money. 26 grand. Yeah, so we're heading up to the 600,000 for this month. That's good. Good, good, good. I don't think we've got anything big still to deliver be besides the juice and I think that will push us over the 600,000. We're coming into October as you can see the trees are starting to, to become nice and colourful and uh, so the apple production will slow down but we should be fairly well stocked in the production unit to get us through the winter. There should be plenty more of these to come. There we go. Pretty much a full load. Oh, it is a full load actually. Don't think there's any more after that but There we go, we go through the 600,000, that's good. As I said, I don't think we've got much more to deliver besides the the apples which run, don't bring in a huge amount of money. Yep, that's good, all done. Didn't quite hit the, uh, the trigger point spot on so there's a couple of minor little delivery <laughs> that went through afterwards not a not a problem at all really let's go and pick up these apples yeah as i mentioned when we arrived here i do like the feel of this place i like the apple trees and coming through the orchard up into the farm shop um, kind of feel that uh, the trees kind of hide the production side of this little area quite nicely and then we've got the the bees especially in the summertime with buzzing around and creating a nice little a nice little bit of atmosphere and of course we planted all the wild wild flowers to um, so the, the bees don't have to travel too far initially to to collect pollen of 
makes it all look really really nice I think so we pick up it might be a crate or two of honey it's fairly slow producing just need to hold on for, there we go maybe one more we we'll always know because they, it'll load a, a not full pellet or a pellet that is not full there we go so that's everything collected and we'll get that into the into the farm shop and that'll be the last delivery for the month of October last bit of income how much are we going to make out of this lot another 6,000 so we had 682,000 so we started on 67 was it so yeah just over the 600,000 for the month not to be scoffed at well that's where we're going to end this episode as I said this will there will be another episode covering some of the other things that happen in this month is another big development but we'll get to show you that in the next episode if you've enjoyed this episode please like and subscribe and we'll catch you in the next one cheerio